Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? It's Mandy. How is everybody doing tonight? We are going to talk about something really cool. I'm excited to share with you guys tonight what we're going to be doing. We're going to be detoxing our armpits. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to jump on. It is Wednesday, so happy Wednesday to everyone. And once you tune in, then do me a favor and comment below and say hi. <clears throat> Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Mandy, your holistic lifestyle fitness and nutrition expert. Thank you so much for taking time out of your night to be with me live here on this video. Hey, Crystal Lynn, how are you, sister? Once you tune in, guys, do me a favor and just comment below and say hi. We're going to be talking about detoxing our armpits, why it's important for one to detox them, and then also why it's important to wear all natural deodorant. We're going to talk about like how much of a big deal that is that you switch your deodorant. So feel my love and appreciation for all you guys. Thank you so much for being here on the live video. Crystal says, I need the pit info. Yeah, girl, I'm going to give you the pit info for sure. And hey, Donna Lynn, how are you, sister? So once again, thank you guys for taking out time tonight to join me live. Hi, Laura. How are you, beauty? Um, I'm super excited about what I'm going to share with you. So feel free to share this video on your timeline. If it resonates with you, just click the button. And when you share this video, then everyone on your like Facebook friends list or whatever will see it, obviously, in their news feed. And this is very valuable information for everyone because like almost every man and woman that I know, uh, even including teenagers, you know, wear deodorant. So this is really a big deal. Um, and then also just because I'm not able to reach everybody like I would, like I desire, right? Millions and millions of people. But with you guys support, then obviously I can. So once again, if it resonates with you and you feel called, then please share this video on your timeline. And also make sure that you're signed up to get the live notifications so that whenever I, um, come on here live, you'll actually get a notification to, you know, participate and jump in with me. Um, Donna says, good, thank you, you're welcome, sister. She says, you look amazing tonight. That is so sweet. I appreciate you so much. I feel that love. That's so sweet. I appreciate you. I receive it. So, um, yeah, we're going to talk about detoxing our armpits and why it's really, really important that we wear all natural deodorant. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free and go ahead and ask them now or at any point. If you're on the Facebook video live, once again, I appreciate you. And um, if you're watching the replay as well, I appreciate you taking out time to watch it. So, make sure that you're signed up for the notifications, okay? So, when I go live, you'll know. And also, if you feel called to do so, please share this video on your timeline. I'd greatly appreciate it. So, a little bit about me. Um, first of all, let me give the disclaimer that I I'm not a doctor. Um, nothing that I say is meant to diagnose, prevent, treat, or cure any dis-ease. And, um, you know, if you feel that you require support in that area, please talk to your actual medical doctor. Um, so, yeah, that's just my little disclaimer. This is all for educational purposes. So, hey, what's up, Priscilla? How are you, sister? Thank you so much, Crystal, for sharing. So, once again, we're talking about detoxing our armpits. We're going to talk about toxins. We're going to talk about why it's important to wear all-natural deodorant. Um, and it really is a big deal. So last week I actually did some videos. One of them was called How to Support Your Body in Removing Toxins. So that's a really good one. If you haven't seen that one, be sure and check that out. You can always just go up to the very top on Facebook and click the little magnifying glass and type in Mandy Fonville and then whatever subject. So this one would be How to Support Your Body in Removing Toxins. If you haven't caught that video, check it out. Or obviously you can look on my timeline. You can look on my Facebook page. You can see the videos. And then my other page, my public figure page, it's my trainer Mandy Dash Mandy Fonville. So, um, hey, what's up, CJ? How are you? Thank you guys for tuning in. So, um, that video, and then I also did one that was called Non-Toxic Product Recommendations. So, that one has a ton of views, tons of shares, which I really, really appreciate that, guys, because it is such a big deal that we start um, taking into account, like, all the toxins and chemicals and stuff that's in these products. And when we put that stuff on our skin, literally within 12 seconds, it goes into our bloodstream. So, if you wouldn't eat it, then you shouldn't be putting it on your skin. That is just one way to look at it. If you have something and you're looking at the ingredients on it and you have no clue what all that shit means and what all it's saying and it has all these numbers and chemicals and red dye 22 and all these just things, right, that you have no idea what they are, then you shouldn't be putting it on your skin. So we require getting really clear on, um, you know, what it is that is best in terms of supporting our body to be healthy and to reduce toxins because the goal is is that we reduce the amount of toxins that we have coming in and we we increase the amount of toxins that we have going out. So that's why I'm so um, passionate about sharing this knowledge with you guys. And once again, those two videos that I did last week was how to support your body in removing toxins and the other one's called non-toxic product recommendations. So if you haven't seen either one of those videos, be sure and find those videos, check them out. 
And uh, they'll support you for sure with a lot of really great information. And so tonight, I'm kind of following up on one of those videos where I was talking mainly about the deodorant and, you know, the importance of that. That was the video uh, where I did the non-toxic product recommendation. So tonight, I'm going to kind of follow up on that a little bit. We're going to talk about how to detox our armpits. And then, of course, we're going to talk about natural uh, remedies in terms of deodorant, like things that you can use. Hey, Rain, thanks for tuning in. Tracy Ann, Heather Price, Selena Gomez, Donna says that... That's easy to understand. If you wouldn't eat it, you wouldn't need it. Exactly. Yeah, I like that, Donna. I like that. I like the way you, you said that. That sounds good. Um, hey, Selena, how are you, sister? Kelsey, I've been wanting to make the switch. Glad I saw this. Yeah, phenomenal. So a lot of times when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So if you're here on this Facebook video, whether you're watching live or catching the replay, there's a reason that you're here. So maybe it's time for you to actually um, take these things into consideration and start making the change. And uh, I talked about it, too, on my uh, video about the non-toxic product recommendations. Sometimes this stuff can seem like really over overwhelming, right? So you like hear about all this stuff, you're freaking out, you're like, oh my gosh, like everything I'm using or everything I'm eating or, you know, whatever I'm drinking, etc. Um, but, you know, really the goal is, is to just let it be okay. And then, um, you know, start as you run out of certain things, start purchasing the other. So if you run out of toothpaste, start purchasing the different toothpaste. If you run out of shampoo and conditioner, start purchasing the other one, etc. So um, that's kind of a good way to do it. Me personally, I was dealing with some health challenges. And when I found out about all this stuff, then I just said, boom, I got rid of everything and went out and bought everything everything brand new and I was on that path moving forward but that's actually how I roll kind of with everything in life I'm pretty 150% type woman so um, do whatever resonates with you but once again just don't stress yourself out um, so let me see who jumped on hey what's up Laura Lynn how are you sister Selena I've never had to wear deodorant yeah I mean if you don't have body odor then maybe you don't require wearing deodorant everybody's different um, but chances are if you are cleansing and detoxing no matter what you're gonna have toxins in your body because there's just no way that you wouldn't in this day and age um, maybe you don't have a body odor smell but if you really get hardcore into detoxing, trust me, you will have a body odor smell, um, even if you think you're the super most cleanest person ever, so uh, in terms of your diet and everything else, but yeah, so whether you have a smell or not have a smell, uh, that's up to you, but once you get really hard into detoxing, chances are... 999 99.9% you're going to have a stench. Um, so this is a way that you can take care of that. So hey, what's up Yvonne? How are you? So once again guys, if you feel called to do so, please do me a favor, share this video to your timeline so that we can get this information out to everybody because I'm only one woman. And I only have a certain amount of uh, friends on my Facebook page. So, but once you share these videos to everyone else in your Facebook page, then uh, you're allowing me to support them through you, right? Selena says, I used to think something was wrong because everyone else was wearing it. Yeah, well, it just depends. Like I said, do whatever resonates with you, sister. But once you dive really deep into detoxing um, and you really start releasing those toxins and stuff, you're going to smell. There's just no way that you wouldn't. So, um, maybe you don't right now, but chances are you may in the future. So, here's some good valid information for you. Um, okay, so first I just want to say most of you guys know but con uh, conventional deodorants they have so many chemicals additives uh, just toxic stuff that when you put that on your armpit, like I said, when you put anything on your skin within about 12 seconds, it's absorbed into your skin and it goes into your bloodstream. So therefore it is in your body. That's one more thing that your body has to work hard to process and filter and get out of your system. Not to mention that they are cancer causing, um, and you know, they suppress your immune system, et cetera. So I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, some of the different things that are possibly in your deodorant. And I'm going to talk about how you can kind of figure some, some certain things out in terms of of maybe what you're using now and then of course I'm going to give you a resolution to that so first of all is aluminum a lot of you guys have heard of aluminum and unfortunately it's sad to say but aluminum is very connected to cancer as well as Alzheimer's so um, aluminum is a neurotoxin it goes up into the brain it destroys destroys our brain cells so if you want to live a long healthy life and you want to have you know good function a good functioning brain then it's going to be really important to get anything with aluminum out of your life but that is one of the main things that's actually found in deodorants is the aluminum you have to think about this. There's actually, um, there's like non-natural products that are put into this deodorant to actually suppress our bodies from sweating, right? So it's like clogging up um, the pores and stuff in our armpits to prevent us from sweating. And, and that's basically what's going on. So yeah, we don't require these things. And there's other ways to go about it. So aluminum is one of them. Thylates is the next one. That's actually an endocrine disruptor as well as parabens. That's another endocrine or hormone disruptor. The word endocrine actually means hormone. Um, so when you have endocrine or hormone disruptors that you're putting onto your body and they're going into your skin and then into your bloodstream and then they're in your body, then chances are your hormones are going to be imbalanced, um, which actually leads to a whole lot of other you know challenges in terms of health. But um, they've actually found parabens 
husbands in tissue biopsies of breast cancer. So they've actually taken biopsies, um, taken the tissue of a person that has breast cancer, and they found parabens in there, as well as a lot of these other things. That's where a lot of this research and stuff comes from. So, um, you know, there's really no doubt about that all these toxins are actually linked to cancer. And so in this day and age, in the year of 2017, with the ability that we have with the internet and Google and people like me and my fellow brothers and sisters um, that, you know, choose to support others and getting this information out there, there's really no excuses. So once you know this, if you're still using your stick of secret and you're putting that on your armpit, I trust that you're going to feel guilty about it, you know, and that's why I'm here spreading this information to you is because I love you and I choose to support you and I desire for you to have a long, healthy life. So um, you know, I, I trust that this information is going to serve some people to really start making some changes. You know, even if you don't want to make changes in other areas, uh, maybe this would be one of one of the biggest things that you really pay attention to. So, uh, some of the other stuff that's found on there is pro propylene glycol, which is actually antifreeze, antifreeze, antifreeze that you put in your freaking car for the air conditioner so it doesn't, you know, freeze up, antifreeze. Propylene glycol is the name. That is found in deodorant, okay? And the FDA has approved that to be in, you know, something that we're putting on our body. No words, right? So, um, yeah. And the next one will be formaldehyde. Who remembers like biology or chemistry or any of your classes where you had like a jar of frogs or something, right, that you're going to uh, dissect later or maybe you're just looking at them through the glass jar or something like that. But formaldehyde, oh my gosh, like who doesn't know what formaldehyde is? And that is actually one of the um, ingredients that's in the deodorant. So just think about that. You're putting that stuff on your armpits and maybe you are, you aren't sweating, depending on if you're using antiperspirant or what you're using. But, um, you know, you're putting that on and then it's going into your skin and into your bloodstream and then not to mention we have all of our lymph nodes and stuff right here in our armpits as well as in our neck so if you've ever think if you think about to a time that you've actually ever been sick right with like tonsillitis or maybe you've just really been sick and your immune system is very compromised and you're not feeling well and you have your lymph nodes that get kind of sore and kind of tender I mean sometimes it can even happen here like in the armpits as well especially if someone's dealing with like an infection or big time inflammation but if you think about that and you're putting literally deodorant on right there where all these crucial lymph nodes are we require those lymph nodes to be free and clear to deal with all the other toxins that's coming from our lymphatic system from things that we can't can't control like the air that we're breathing and stuff like that so there's there's ways that we can do certain things to minimize the amount of toxins that's going into our body and then there's also certain things that we really can't control but we require being conscious of these things right so um, you know, the deodorant is a big deal for men and women both. And men actually get, get breast cancer too. Just because they don't have like, you know, boobs doesn't mean they don't get breast cancer. So like I said, you know, you have your lymph nodes right here and you're, you're literally like putting poison into the lymph nodes. So we require literally understanding that this has got to stop. So once again, if you feel called to do so, please share this video because everybody on your timeline wears deodorant too. So, and unfortunately, maybe they wouldn't have known this information otherwise. <clears throat> so if you share the video, feel my love and appreciation, triple time because it really is a big deal. So um, yeah, like I said, aluminum, phthalates, propylene glycol, which is also known as antifreeze, formaldehyde, which is something that they use to preserve, um, you know, like dead, dead, uh, specimens and things like that, let's just say, and then parabens, which is another hormone disruptor. So if you think about like ladies, especially how important it is that we have our hormones and stuff on track, I mean, men and women alike, but just think about taking some of these things and changing your daily routine and how you'll actually be able to, su to support your body better and having, you know, balanced hormones and a strong immune system, etc. by making some of these changes. So it really is a big deal. So now I'm going to challenge you. On the video that I did about the non-toxic product recommendations, I talked about a website and an app. So if you've, if you've ever heard of um, the Environmental Working Group, okay, that's a uh, website that you can go check out, but they also have an app. So it's called EWG, and when I finish this video, I'll take a screen capture of the actual app, and I'll put it in the comments and stuff. But it's really cool. They have a thing on there where you can use the app to actually scan the barcode on anything. So let's just say, I'm about to talk about this in a little bit, but... Um, the barcode that you see on like anything at the store, right? You can literally open the app on your phone and you can scan the barcode on an item and it will tell you like in terms of severity how um, much that is, I guess, you know, in the direction of cancer causing, like mild, moderate. I choose to remember. It's been a while since I used it because I pretty much figured out with all the products that I used, I pretty much figured out what it was I was choosing to use that had the best reviews that was in the green 
and that's what I use now. So I haven't done it in a while, but basically you open up the app on your phone, you can scan <clears throat> whatever it is, you can scan the barcode and it will tell you on a level or a degree how much um, you're looking at in terms of, you know, it being a cancer causing agent. Okay, so I challenge you potentially after you watch this video to download that app to your phone and go around and scan your stuff, like scan everything that you use, especially scanning your deodorant. So if you're using Secret, Dove, any of those other ones, like there's probably not even anything really out there at the, at the actual um, regular grocery store that, that I would even recommend. Now, if you're shopping at, um, you know, like Whole Foods or Sprouts or Village Foods or Brazos Natural Foods, of course, there's there's places like that that have some uh, natural deodorants. But, um, but still, even sometimes those out there on the market, they can potentially have, um, you know, cancer causing, you know, additives, ingredients and chemicals and things like that. So I'm going to talk tonight about a way to make your own deodorant at home. And then if you choose to, um, forego that, if that just doesn't work well for you, I'm going to recommend a all natural homemade deodorant that a friend of mine makes and actually sells bless her heart. So, um, I got the answers for you. So let's just say that. So, but like I said, I challenge you to get that EWG app and I'll post all that in the comments so that you'll know what to get, but it's called environmental working group and EWG. Anyhow, you're going to get the app and then I challenge you to scan the stuff, you know, that you have in your house, your, your products and things like that. And then once again, if you have not watched those videos, check out those videos for how to support your body and removing toxins. And then also the non-toxic product recommendations. I did both of those videos last week. You can easily search for those here on the Facebook. Just do the little magnifying glass, type in Mandy Fonville, or simply go to my page and scroll through all my videos. But those videos have some really, really great information that will support you guys. So, um, yeah, I trust that you guys will, you know, take this pretty seriously. So once again, like I was already stating a second ago, that we have the lymph nodes and stuff right here. So that really is a big deal. I mean, any e even if you weren't putting the deodorant on your armpits, either way, it's it's regardless, it's a big deal. Because anything that you put onto your skin, it literally goes into your bloodstream and it goes into your body. So if you wouldn't eat it, then I don't recommend putting it on, okay? Um, now, let's see. So we're going to talk about armpit detox. And one of the reasons why this is really good is, for one, it will prevent body odor. So if you're challenged with body odor, then this is going to support you in detoxing out any impurities or anything that you potentially would have in, under the armpits um, that would, you know, actually be able to support you in potentially not having body odor any longer. Also, too, the body odors is made up of um, bacteria and stuff under the armpit, right? So, like, everybody has their own special uh, balance, I guess you would say, of, like, bacteria and things like that. Um, and actually, the thing that I'm going to show you as far as detox in the armpits is um, it contains apple cider vinegar. So that's also going to be something that's going to help neutralize and stuff those bacteria. So it's going to prevent odors. And then it's also going to just help get any kind of impurities and stuff out of uh, the skin there in the armpits. And then also, it'll just open things up for you. It'll open things up to allow your um, your body to like sweat better and cleanse and detox a little bit better as well. Um, okay, let me see. Okay, I have no idea what you're referring to, Tim Gray, so if you want to um, add that in, I'm not sure what you're referring to as far as you need to learn more about anatomy and physiology and chemistry and research that pertains to your commentary. You speak well, but your research is not supported. Okay, well, I can I can actually um, tag the link to the articles and things that I read and research where I learn all this information. So once again, I'm not sure what you're referring to um, that potentially I spoke wrong about but either way it's all good so feel my love um thanks for being on my live video okay so what we're going to talk about now is exactly how you make this okay and then towards the end i'm going to actually make it and then i'm going to apply it and i'm going to show you guys all about it so um yeah you'll you'll see me do it firsthand but i've done this many times before hey what's up stephanie how are you thanks for tuning in sister yeah that was a little bit unnecessary and uncalled for tim so if you choose to maybe remove yourself from my video that'd be cool too um okay cool so now, let's see. Really quick before I make it, I want to talk all about it. I want to talk about the ingredients and stuff that are in it so that you guys know why it actually works. So type in a yes or give me some thumbs up and some hearts if you've ever heard of bentonite clay. Who has ever heard of bentonite clay? So bentonite clay is actually made from ashes from volcanoes and it draws out the toxins and the reason it does is because it is negatively charged. It has negatively charged particles, right? So when you actually put this on or even uh, potentially internally because it has a lot of uses, it actually pulls out or let's just say the negative charge of the bentonite clay um, attaches to the positive charges of toxins or impurities in your system and that it actually, you know, it binds with it and then it pulls out, pulls it out of your body. 
So once again, bentonite clay has a lot of uses. You can actually put this on your face as a mask. You can add it into, like if you make your own shampoo, you can use it as like a mask for your hair. Um, you can do it internally. You can uh, put it in some water and take it internally like as a cleanser for, you know, your colon and things. And then also uh, you can put it in like some water and swish it around in your mouth. It's really good to clean like your teeth and your gums and stuff like that. So once again, this has a lot of uses. It's all natural. It's really good for us. This brand is called Aztec Secret, and I will put a link to this. I know for sure you can buy this on Amazon, but I've seen it like at Walmart and of course all the other types of stores, the all natural type stores and stuff. Um, but it's really easy if you choose to just order like off of Amazon. Um, so once again, this brand is called Aztec Secret, and it's Indian Healing Clay, but there's also a couple others out there that are good that are on the market. I believe one of them is called Redmond's Clay. Um, I choose to remember, but I've seen it before and I've actually used it as well. So I can look that up. I can add all the links and stuff for you guys, but this is all natural. So you don't have to be scared of it. You can actually too, you can add this into your bath at night and it's really great for like pulling toxins and um, impurities and stuff too out of your system. So like if you take a detox bath at night and maybe you do like Epsom salt and things like that, or even if you just do your regular tap water, adding this stuff in there will actually cancel out the impurities that's in the bath water. So this is really good to add into your bath water just in general to help neutralize uh, just the toxins, honestly, guys, that are in our, that's in our tap water. So we're blessed to live here in America, to have sewer systems, to have clean water. Um, but unfortunately, there are still some impurities in our water, like fluoride. Of course, there's chlorine. Um, there's even been known to have like runoff of antidepressants and medications and different things like that. So um, yeah, this you can add into your bath water as well, and it will detox your body. So um, maybe just kind of start out a little bit slow. But one of the ingredients we're going to use tonight is the bentonite clay so it's really easy to make this armpit detox. The next thing is apple cider vinegar. If you guys have watched any of my videos, then you know I'm always talking about apple cider vinegar. This really is the brand that I recommend, Bragg's. And you want to make sure it has the mother. Of course, if you buy this one, you're going to know you're all good to go. It's organic and everything else. Um, you want to make sure you shake it up really, really good because sometimes it'll have everything like here in the bottom. So that's the second ingredient. And the last ingredient is just regular water. So it's really easy to make. And I'm going to blend it all up and do it here in just a little bit. But first, I want to talk about a couple other things um, as far as making your own deodorant. Um, and then also my friend Tiffany's deodorant as well. So one of the ways you can make your own deodorant is, I used to actually do this before Tiffany was so sweet and graciously, graciously sent me um, her deodorant for me to try out, and I loved it so much. I was like, you know what? That's just a lot more easier and convenient, right, that I, that I choose to just do that versus trying to make my own. Um, so, but if you do desire to make your own, I'm going to tell you what to do. And I will actually put in the comments, too, below this video after I finish the video, the exact recipe. Oh, wow. So my live video just got interrupted because I had an Amber Alert. But now we're good. I'm back. I'm back in the game. Okay, so to make your own deodorant, I'll put, like I said, the exact recipe in the comments. So right now, I'm just going to kind of briefly tell you. You're going to do coconut oil. I always show coconut oil. It's another thing, kind of like the apple cider vinegar. This brand right here um, is the one that I usually buy. It's at Walmart for a little less than $7. And uh, it's pure, unrefined, and cold pressed. Of course, it's organic. Um, and then I always just talk about Walmart because most everyone has a Walmart in their area, so it's really easy to find. But you can use other brands. Just make sure it's organic, and preferably, you're looking for the pure, unrefined, and cold-pressed, okay, if you can. Um, but there's a lot of companies out there that are reputable that make coconut oil. So first ingredient for your own deodorant that you're making it your own, if you choose, would be coconut oil. And then baking soda, and I always show this one as well. These are all kind of like staples to have around the house anyway. This is the Bob's Red Mill which is a very reputable company, very reputable brand. This is actually gluten-free and aluminum-free. So we require making sure, I mean, we don't want to put heavy metals back into our body. So we require using, um, I always recommend this brand. I think Arm & Hammer maybe recently came out with one that says aluminum-free, but sometimes I don't trust a lot of those really big companies. And I go with who I know is reputable and who has, you know, like I said, a really good reputation and I trust. So Bob's Red Mill. And then Arrowroot Powder, which I don't have any of the Arrowroot Powder because I stopped making my own deodorant, like I said, since, you know, I started using Tiffany's deodorant, um, but Bob's Red Mill has arrowroot powder. So if you choose to make your own, I would recommend using the Bob's Red Mill, of course, the baking soda and the arrowroot powder from this company right here or this brand right here. And then lastly, you can add in essential oils and I do Young Living. So when I used to make my own deodorant, I would use the lemon, but you can also use like lavender or lemongrass or something like that. And I will put the exact recipe of how I used to make my own deodorant below this video in the comments once, once I finish, if you guys choose 
to make your own. I'll even put the uh, the link or the member number for my Young Living account. If you guys choose, you can sign up and, um, you know, get your own oils and stuff as well. Oils are amazing. They have, you know, phenomenal benefits for our health and everything else. Um, so, yeah, if you guys have any questions about that or ever have any questions about anything anyway, just feel free to send me a private Facebook message. So, once you tune in, guys, say hi. Thanks for joining. Sheila and Tanya, how are you guys doing? Um... Let's see, what did, Donna Lynn says, I have some, but I opened it a year ago. I wonder if it's still good. Yeah, I choose to know, sister, maybe just buy some new just to be safe. Yeah, the clay, mm, I'm not sure. Actually, the, the clay probably still would be good. I'm not sure if they have a, oh, okay, it does have expiration date. I was going to say, I'm not sure if they ever do. Like, this one has an expiration date. So, yeah, you may would want to double check with that um, just to make sure. So, uh, like I said, if you choose to make your own deodorant, then that would be exactly how you would do it. Well, not exactly, but that's the ingredients that you would use. And then I will put underneath the video the exact um, recommendations as far as the amounts and all that stuff goes. Selena says, love, love, love the oil. Yes, I agree. Me too. Rain says, my husband almost put my homemade frankincense deodorant in a smoothie. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Hey, what's up, Chrissy? Thanks for tuning in, sister. And Donna says, how is your mama feeling? Oh, my mom is great. Yeah, that video that I did about the natural remedies, that was like probably three weeks or something ago or maybe even longer. But yeah, she's feeling phenomenal. Thank you for asking. Um, okay, so that's how you make your own deodorant. Or like I said, my friend Tiffany, she owns a company called Desert Rose Cosmetics. I talked about this too in the video about the non-toxic product recommendations. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to put her contact information below this video in the comments once I finish. And she is going to give every one of my followers a special price or special rate. Okay. So if you contact her about her deodorant, then she'll hook you up. And the easiest way to do so is I'm just going to, you know, put her info in the comments and I'm going to tag her. And the easiest way really is just to send her a private message, you know, send her a friend request, send her a private message, but I will have her name tagged in the comments below this video and you can contact her and she'll tell you all about the deodorant and the special price for all of Mandy's followers. So um, I appreciate you guys for, uh, for always, you know, being here and being supportive of me. And so she actually makes the deodorant literally like at her house. It's homemade. And, um, you know, just like I just kind of got done telling you guys the recipe of how to make your own, she does the same thing and she bottles it up and sells it. And this one actually smells Really, really, really good. She uses essential oils and stuff in it as well. And she actually just came out with some new scents. So she's going to send me uh, send me some more um, of some new ones that I can try. Um, Christy says, I had a severe allergic reaction to one called Native. Yeah, sister, I choose to know. I'm not sure of that brand. I've never heard of Native before. And actually, uh, before I started making my own, I used probably like... Mm, four or five different ones, to be honest with you, that I found that were all natural, you know, that I would say would be approved to use. And I really couldn't find any of them that I ever really liked that, you know, that either smelled good or that, you know, they kept me from stinking, etc. So, um, yeah, like I said, making my own was what I had probably resorted to for the last couple years until about four or five months ago when Tiffany sent me this and I started using it and I was like, okay, yeah, I love it and it works great. And of course, you know, I'm choosing to share that with you guys as well. So now we're about to get down to business and I'm about to uh, mix all this stuff up and I'm going to put it on my armpit, like for real, right here in front of you guys. And, uh, and then, you know, I'll get off of here and I'll go wash it off or whatnot. But let me just tell you really quick how to make it. So of course, like I said, I have the bentonite clay that I I just showed a little bit ago. If you just tuned in on the video, be sure you go watch it all the way from the beginning. But here's the bentonite clay, and I already put some in this glass bowl. And you want to make sure that you put it in glass. You don't want to use plastic, and you don't want to use metal, because like I was telling you a second ago about how it's um, the particles are negatively charged. So you don't want to use metal, because then you will kind of destroy what you're actually attempting to do here with it. So um, you don't want to start with metal. Preferably use like a wooden spoon. Or, um, or even like a plastic spoon would be okay too. So, um, let's see. I'm going to put the recipe below the video too. But if you can write this stuff down, that's fine too. But one tablespoon, okay, of the bentonite clay. So I already did that here. So one tablespoon of bentonite clay. And I have my towel here too to cover myself so I don't make a mess. Um, and I have a little teaspoon. And this teaspoon's not going to touch the bentonite clay because, of course, this is metal. But I'm not going to I'm not going to stir with this. I'm just using this teaspoon to uh, to measure out the uh, apple cider vinegar. So one teaspoon is very easy to do. One teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar. I'm pouring it into the teaspoon and then now into the bentonite clay. So fun and easy. Next, it is one to two teaspoons of water. So I have my big old water jug here, and I'm just going to go ahead and. Um, Add in one teaspoon and we're going to see how well it turns out. You're looking for a consistency of like sour cream. So once again, I forgot to bring something over here to stir with, but I'm going to use the end of this probably is not the best way to do it, but 
Um, you're looking for, like I said, the consistency of sour cream. And I forgot to bring something over here to stir with. And, of course, that teaspoon is metal, so I don't want to use that. So I just added a little bit more water because it was not... It was not enough. So it's one to two teaspoons of water. And I'm choosing to make this fun and easy. So I'm just going to turn this around and actually use, like, this is like a little brush that when you do someone's hair, like hair color or whatever, because I color my mom's hair sometimes. So um, this actually works out really well for, um, for using for this, the armpit detox. And I've done this many times. So real quick, you're looking for the consistency of sour cream. So once you stir it all up, that's kind of what you're looking for is like that thick paste. Um, and then you're going to spread it on evenly onto your armpits, okay? And then you're going to leave it on for about 5 to 20 minutes. So just see what works for you. See what resonates with you. Potentially work your way up, like maybe paint it on. And then uh, the first time you do it, maybe you leave it on for 3 minutes or 5 minutes. And the next time you increase. But see, see how well it works because it will detox you. So if you get any kind of like irritation, or redness or anything like that. I mean, these are all natural ingredients, so I wouldn't worry too much about it, but there is a potential to have, you know, like a little bit of redness or whatever. Like, that wouldn't be abnormal. So, um, now, I actually used a little bit too much water, guys, to be honest with you. Straight up, used too much water, and uh, I didn't have anything over here to stir with, so I'm going to add a little bit more clay back to, um, back to my little um, concoction here. And I'm sprinkling it in because I don't have everything set up over here. I'm sitting over here on the couch. And, uh, yeah. So, um, also I want to add in there too that you can repeat this daily or as often as necessary until the body odor goes away. So, if you are, you know, challenged with body odor, then obviously you could just keep doing this until the body odor goes away. Um, or you can just do this daily. I don't do it daily. But when I first started, I think I did it, you know, pretty regularly. And then now I'll just do it every so often kind of like when I think about it. Um, and then it's also a great time to, you know, do this and then switch to your all natural deodorant. I know I'm trying not to spill it, sister. So, this ain't going to be the best version, okay? Because it is not like sour cream so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that right like that um it's not and whatever so you're gonna paint on I just want to show you guys my armpit <laughs> I'm just kidding but you're gonna paint on like an even coat and this is nowhere near about how it should look it should literally look so I'm just gonna dry it off because this is just this just isn't gonna work right now but either way um, I didn't have what I required. I didn't have the right spoon. And I, like I said, I'm sitting over here on the couch and I have everything set up here and it's just, it's not working right. So I choose to make it fun and easy. But like I said, you're going to mix it all together and it's going to be like the consistency of sour cream. Of course, it's going to be like this dark, like gray color. Like I made it way too watery, y'all. So I'm not going to keep on messing with it. But um, it's going to be like a really dark, dark gray color. And um, you're just going to paint it on and it's going to be sort of like a thick coat if you think about uh, like, you know, the consistency of sour cream. So you're going to paint it on both your armpits. And so when I did it last time, I remember I painted it on and I painted on the arm other armpit and I just had my arms up like this and I had a towel like on my bed and I just went and laid down on my back and I just had my arms up like that and I just let it, um, you know, dry and do everything that it was going to do. And I left it on for about 15 or 20 minutes the last time I did it because I started working my way up. And then you can easily just get into the shower and wash it off or you can take a washcloth and get it hot, you know, under the water or something like that, warm water, hot water, and just literally then just clean it off and wipe it off of your armpits. But it really will detox your skin. It'll detox your armpits. It'll even pull out some of the impurities and stuff that you have there potentially that maybe you didn't even know or you weren't aware of. Um, but once again, it's a great time to then switch to using all natural deodorant. So potentially you'll want to do this as a regimen for, you know, like seven days straight or something like that and support your body that way. Um, and of course, all the other things that you want to do to support your body with exercise and drinking a lot of water and, you know, moving your body daily to support your lymphatic system and stuff like that. That would be a great idea. And if you guys are interested, once again, with the deodorant, I'm going to put Tiffany's information. Her company is called Desert Rose Cosmetics. So I'll put her information in the comments and you can contact her for special pricing. Just let her know that, um, that you were referred by Mandy and she's willing to give you guys a special price or potentially you choose to make your own deodorant. So I'll be putting the exact uh, recommendation for how to make your own deodorant and the recipe and stuff for that below in the comments as well. And um, also, if you guys haven't caught those videos that I did last week about how to support your body in removing the toxins, um, 
I would definitely recommend watching that. And then the other one is the non-toxic product recommendations. I definitely recommend watching both of those videos and potentially sharing them as well on your timeline if you feel called to do so. So thank you guys so, so, so much for being on the live Facebook video tonight. Thank you to everyone who shared the video. Um, hey, Bobby, how are you? Rosa, Melissa DeLong, how are you guys doing? Feel my love and appreciation for you. Donna Lynn says, thank you for sharing. That is amazing information. You're welcome, guys. And feel my love and appreciation for each and every one of you who are on the video tonight and if you're catching the replay as well. And uh, as always, feel free to send me a private message if you have any questions about anything or you can also just comment below on this video and I'll get a notification I can get back to you that way so you're welcome Bettina thank you so much um feel my love and appreciation guys that was fun I apologize I didn't get it all right I literally should have had a plastic spoon over here and it would have made it a little bit more fun and easy and then I could have stirred it a little bit better and I could have made it right but like I said it would be like the consistency of sour cream it's real easy to do it's all natural ingredients you don't have to have fear that you're you know doing something harmful because it's not if anything you're supposed Supporting your body and getting rid of a lot of those toxins and once again just switch your deodorant that's really a big deal guys so um, you know share this knowledge to other people like once you learn these things share this stuff with other people and also if you choose um, and you do the armpit detox then let me know about it you know send me a message or something and let me know uh, how well it worked for you but it's it's amazing so once we get off the video I'm gonna go make it with the correct proportions and get it all right and then I'm gonna do my own armpit since I already got it started so oh thank you Bobby I appreciate that I feel the love. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome, Stephanie. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, it is exciting, Donna. So once again, guys, film 11 appreciation. Have an amazing night and I'll chat with all you guys soon. Mwah. Go, uh, go detox those armpits and get you some natural deodorant. Bye guys. Feel my love.